What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Cooking with Thima and today I'm gonna teach you how to make a delicious, very basic, easy Sri Lankan style beef curry. This will help you a lot. For all of you out there who doesn't know that much about cooking or who doesn't cook that much, this is gonna be that dish that will blow your mind. You can make this to your lover, you can make this to your family, you can even enjoy this by yourself. It's very easy, it's very basic. Let's get to it. The first things first, let's work out the ingredients. The first ingredient is beef. Then a pan, olive oil, a knife to cut the beef, tomato sauce, table salt, pepper, milk, Hot sauce, you can use paprika as well, it doesn't matter. Curry powder, mixed spices, cloves and bay leaves. Garlic spread or garlic crushed garlic. Or you could use garlic uh, cloves as well, mix herbs. Chicken or beef broth. And that's about it. The reason why I took tomato sauce is you can use tomato in this one. Uh, it brings out flavor, but I currently don't have any tomatoes, so I'm going to use the tomato sauce. So if you don't have tomatoes, don't worry, use your tomato sauce. The next step is to cut the beef. And you should cut it always like this. So when you cut the beef, make sure to cut your beef in small pieces. The bigger the piece is, the longer it takes for your curry to be finished. So if you want it to be quick, you are in a hurry, so make it in small pieces. That was a lot of beef. Oh, look at this. Once you marinate your beef, it should look something like this. Let's keep cooking. As the next step is to actually get your garlic paste or your garlic cloves and chuck them in the pan and fry it out for at least a minute or two. garlic is ready you can smell it and also when garlic is fried it gives a certain color maybe like a light brown just like onions um, so that's your cue to add in whatever the meat that is you're cooking so in our case so let's put the beef in the pan the beef for at least five to ten minutes I have a lot of beef in here so I'm gonna let it fry for at least ten minutes guys so now our beef is ready for its next phase of the curry 
and that is to actually go through a shower. Alright guys, so I added 300 milliliters of chicken broth. Again, you can use water, off beef or beef broth. Um, it doesn't really matter. You can, if you if you can't find broth, uh, make sure to use water. It's totally fine. It won't make a difference. Uh, I just like extra flavor. That's why I use chicken, not beef broth. Um, but you don't have to do it. It's not a must do thing. And the next step is adding milk. So the rule of thumb for milk is, for me actually, um, for every 100 milliliters of water or chicken broth or beef broth, I use 50 milliliters of milk just to get that milky, you know, smooth flavor. So we put 300 milliliters in here. So I'm going to put 150 milliliters of milk in here and you do it once exactly the beef broth started boiling up like this. As you can see, it's boiling up and our beef is looking sexy. Look at that. Oh yeah. We are almost finished now the last step is to actually put some hot sauce in it no that now this depends on how spicy you want it to get this this has 1.5 million scoville points so this is really hot you don't have to use a really hot sauce like this you can use paprika or uh, maybe sriracha or something with a less level of spiciness but at the same time you don't even have to use spices the beef will still taste good but i like spicy food so i'm gonna use this sauce not all of it a little bit Let's see how it goes <laughs> Alright guys, so now let the heat and the beef do the dance. All you have to do is just sit back and relax. Come back in 15 minutes and have a taste. We'll see you guys in 15 minutes. Ooh, we almost forgot to add the tomato sauce. Alright guys, so the 15 minutes has passed and let's do a taste test. Pretty sure the beef is ready. It smells really good. So let's dive in. Alright guys, look at that medium rare goodness. Alright, let's dive. So the beef is ready, as I showed you. Look at look at the pink color, it's so beautiful. That means like we usually take a piece out and see how it goes. If you like medium rare, if you like this color. That means the beef is properly cooked. So let's get it on. Mm. Mm. Ah. Perfect chop. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I could, I could feel the flavors 
blowing up inside my mouth. It's like a volcano, you know. Oh my god, I love it. <coughs> I'm gonna try another piece. Okay, so I got some yellow rice. That look how beautiful that looks. Look at that. Some yellow rice. Beef. Beautiful. Thank you so much guys, that's it for today. If you learned something, if you like the video, please hit the subscribe button and that like button and comment and um, I'll keep on bringing the good stuff to you so that you can learn. Cooking is easy, these things are easy, you don't have to be a professional cook. I'm not a professional cook, if I can do it, you can do it. So peace.